It's always one thing I've wanted to do from the top of a castle. Your mother reeked of elderberry and your father was a hamster. <laughs> What I've found that I like here, and I've discovered in Ireland, is uh, black pudding, which is coagulated sheep's blood. And if you look inside here, it's got these grains. So it's blood and grain inside this, which gives it a really unique texture. And of course, it's got that real, like, irony flavor to it. But uh, it seems a bit off, but it's really good, actually. And uh, I understand primarily served at breakfast. You can eat a bit of that, yeah. so that people think that you know you actually eat it, <laughs> as opposed to just order it. Let's <laughs> go. This is the bar area of O'Donnell's, O'Connor's. Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> but this is a very, very cool bar, um, a cool Irish bar. And we unfortunately didn't get to have a drink here, but we've just had breakfast, slept upstairs in the cozy rooms. And we're out to go castle hunting. Well, you think we always got to do this to make for things that are up high. I know, mate. We need to be either taller or the castle shorter. Okay. Well, at least they can see it's a castle now. If yeah. you show them, see, hello everybody, we're at a castle. Now we pan up, and then we talk about the castle. We're at Canturk Castle. Canturk Castle. If I'm pronouncing that right, Canturk Castle. We're here in Ireland, and we're going to explore some castles today. In this particular castle, at least a few of the uh, columns, towers, have been here since the 13th century, I believe? 15th century, maybe. Well, you just read the sign. 15th, well, it was complicated. They've been here since the 13th century, the clan, some of the building parts, then the 15th century, the towers. But what we see here today these ruins are from the 15th century. Wow, this is an ama wow. This is just amazing. Look at this. This is so neat. I mean, we we went we get to go in some cool places. We went in some neat. Uh, I guess you call them castles uh, in India. And wow, what it must have been like to be here at some point. Can you tell us anything? I can actually. I've been reading the sign here. There's about four floors, and they would have been made from wood and floors wooden floors <laughs> but it's obviously eroded and so what we've been left with is a massive uh, shell and you can see where things would have been interestingly enough the archway that you just saw um, had a because this has been designed over several years as Eric said earlier on the archway has a mix of exotic and kind of overseas I, had, I read it. it had some Renaissance features to right it. and this was the traditional Irish uh, workmanship of the 16th century and then the other side as Eric was saying, has more renaissance and what they're calling exotic influences. It was still a castle though and still for protection. Is that why they have these slot windows for archers? Yes, it's very much still been a castle. Just interestingly enough, this castle has been hobbled together over, over several centuries. So it's, it's got um, kind of a footprint of history, which is very cool. This is the Northeast Tower. So we can see the remnants of the stairs. This would have been the main stairway up to this four story castle. And it's actually pretty cool standing here. You can see all the rooms, and each one of those has a fireplace, which I'm looking at right now. But sadly, we can't get to them because we have no more stairs. This is the leftovers of the stairs. photograph Eric. Well there's a decision about to be made here real quick. I'm either going to come down uh, gracefully or right down onto Viv. So here we go. I 
th I think it was a, a midway. He found a, a, a midway solution. Ah, well. Could have been worse. The things I do to get to the places to bring you to the places. How was your Irish countryside experience? Ah, it's mixed because I have to drive a stick. But Eric has been a very patient uh, stick instructor and uh, we are making progress. I'm getting myself through these squirrely little streets with oncoming giant trucks of which uh, if I don't hit the truck, my option is to hit a, uh, a brick wall. Look, here one comes right now on cue. Hate these monster trucks. She has learned to drive a manual uh, transmission vehicle in South Africa and Ireland. On the job. <laughs> when we actually like, needed to go somewhere as opposed to like circling a car park. Alright, everybody, castle number two. Bunrati. Uh, Bunrati or Bunrati? No, it, it's written Bunrati. Here we come. Into the castle. The castle. Again, the low shot to give you the perspective of the castle. Um, this one's a little more touristy, but it's... This is like Castle Disneyland. <laughs> Probably because they've spent the time keeping it and ref refurbishing it. They've got Let's all get... the uh, old uh, 16th and 17th century yeah. furnishings. As touristic as it is, this castle is, uh, is original. So for the history buffs out there, I'm reading from the, the book, this was built around 1425 and was the stronghold of the O'Briens. Let's go check out how strong their stronghold was. This is where the great Earl of the land would sit in his chair amongst his people and pass judgment amongst the tapestries and adornments of his great room and tell people, go there, do that, shoot that, frame that, get the lighting there, just like film. I often fancied myself a minstrel, performer of the lute or Irish ire or some sort of thing like that, but this is where I would stand if I had uh, been a minstrel back in the 15th century of Ireland. <laughs> Instead I uh, became a jazz musician in the uh, 21st century playing in school bands. It's a bit of a tight, I don't know if this is quite built for uh, people like me, to be frank. We've made it to the dungeon. It's a very, very tiny, squeezy spot. Rooms are outfitted as if they were in the 15th century. So this is pretty cool, Eric. Apparently, this table was salvaged from the wreck of an Armada, a Spanish Armada ship. Really? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Oh, actually, no, maybe it was this one. This one looks like it came off a shipwreck. That one looks like it's more of a shipwreck table, I would have to say. I wish I could have built this as a fort when I was a kid. So my trusty booklet has run out of information for this little area up here, so um, I'm going to state the obvious. We're at the top part, the ramparts, I believe, of the castle. Yes. Top of a castle in Ireland. I wish I could tell An you more about it. But my own knowledge of castles is that this would be in a, um, a defending position with uh, slots to shoot arrows and guns out of. You can yeah, see the rooftops is, through here. It's pretty neat. I'm amazed by the construction. Yeah, it's really actually quite sophisticated. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have been a very good early human. Um, I think I would have just kind of put up a couple of sticks and a couple of leaves over my head and been like, ah, I'm done. <laughs> I'd, a I'd, have, I'd have built one of these for sure. I would have come to visit. I go, that guy's built a castle, let's go over there. Well that was Bunrati Castle ending our tour of castles here at the crew. Eric and I are going to go into the traditional village that they've set up here and find ourselves a Guinness to top off Ireland. Alright, let's go have a beer in an Irish pub of the Guinness. She doesn't drink much more of it, but that first sip for some reason is a bit tasty. It's all in the froth. <laughs> so I'm here with Rachel and she's going to teach me to play the concertina. concertina. Alright, right. so first we do scale. So if I get you to put your. So this finger goes with this button, this, this, and this. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Like oh, just that. forget that doesn't exist. Out. Next one. In. Out. Next one. Then out first. 
Alright, so, so try not to hit the other buttons when you're doing each one. Ah, uh, okay. So I, I do that. Really good. First scale. Would you so, like to show me how to actually do a, a nice song on it? It's you. Okay, I'll do something. Again, if you want. <laughs> I, I don't want to ruin the public's ears. <laughs> Not at all. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome.